Hello, Vinyl Community. I wanted to talk about a new novelty, holographic vinyl, and this is sort of an addendum to my GZ vinyl video. Um, so, I heard about this and I just had to pick it up uh, when I saw uh, Walt Disney Music uh, put out a promo video for it, and that is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, soundtrack. So I just recently got this in the mail and now anymore immediately when I get a record I am very curious to see who pressed it. And who pressed this one? GZ! So here's what the Dead Wax looks like and this one was very different. So it starts out with the number one and this is just my assumption but this is the first time they've done a vinyl release of this kind, so maybe they just gave it the number one. But uh, the subsequent numbers, and I talked about, you know, having some confusion about, you know, plating process or stampers. I'm starting to think that this last digit is really for the stampers. So um, one of my commenters told me his digits, and I got mine, and mine just happens to be higher order. So I think this last digit is actually a stamper. So, um, the sound quality, mm, there's some surface noise. <laughs> and uh, it's, yeah, you know, once the music starts playing, it's really good. Uh, but the holographic effect, yeah, I got it for the novelty. It's, uh, it's really pretty cool. So here's just kind of a shot of what it looks like. Uh, there's a thousand videos out there on this already, but here's mine. But I just want to expand upon this a little bit. So the artist that is doing this is an artist by the name of Tristan Duke. Um, the record that really kicked this off is Jack White's Lazaretto. And this is the Third Man Fan Club release. And when I got it in the mail and opened it up and I saw the vinyl, I was a little bit disappointed. Why was I disappointed? Well, they were hyping up this whole holographic effect deal. And the whole holographic uh, design and imaging is done by an artist named Tristan Duke, who has his own website. But here's what the record looks like. Mine is split blue and white, and I mean, it goes with the theme of the original record. But with this color, you can't see the effect so well. So, you know, you can see it, but not as good as you would on black vinyl. And I'm sorry, um, I like this record, but I am not going to buy another copy just for the holographic effect. But uh, I am happy to have it. Um, this is what it looks like on black vinyl. Now, Tristan Duke has done it on other records. Um, there are four records that have this effect, that, uh, as far as I'm aware, and I have three of them. So the next one he did was uh, Rush's 2112, and this has this nice little icon in here. So here's a video of it. Now, really cool effect. Um, all the records that I'm aware of that are using this, including uh, the Rise and Fall of Paramount, which I don't have. It's just far too expensive. I'm curious about it, but I don't want to spend uh, that kind of money on some records that I may not play that much. But uh, Rise and Fall of Paramount Records supposedly has a hologram on it. So if somebody has that, I'd be curious to see what it looks like. But uh, all of these are cut via DMM. And I think DMM, uh, the process, uh, is the only thing that will allow for intricate cuts like this. I don't think you can do this on a lacquer. But uh, anyway, if I'm wrong, correct me. But uh, I just thought I would show you three different holograms. So thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.